Okay, so I apologize if the light's not better. I'm actually using a little LED light to kind of show this window off here. It's still got some of the cladding stuff on it, so um, can't get a perfect view, and I don't want to pop things off and mess with anything. But this is a Geldwin Tradition Plus um, aluminum clad wood window. It's a double hung. It's got the, um, what do they call it, a top-down colonial. Um, if the window's wider, well, alrighty then. The light just fell off the wall. Huh, fun. Anyway, if the window was wider, um, there would actually be more little dividers up at the top, but since it's such a narrow one, there's just the single. But we liked it because it gave it three distinct spaces. There's a big space, a small space, and then a little split space. And we're all about symmetry around here, so. Um, anyhow, uh, well, that's not true, but anyway. <laughs> Um, I wanted to point out that this window, because it's double hung, is not, it is a standard size, yes, but it is not the same size as this pre-framed space here. This little guy is 24.75 inches by 36.5 inches rough opening. These windows come in 22 and an eighth by 36 and three quarters. That's if you're getting a double hung. If you choose to use an awning, and I'm pretty sure if you choose to use a casement window, you will not have that issue, um, especially if it's gelled one. I can't speak beyond gelled one. Those are the only ones we've priced. But um, these windows, Tumbleweed did a great job. Meg Stevens did a good job. Found the um, standard sizing for the awning windows that Tumbleweed puts into their homes. So these are primed for those. But if you're going to use something besides an awning and most likely a casement, because I'm pretty sure when I priced a casement originally for this window, I had no problems with the sizing. But this little guy is actually narrower than the way they normally come. So note to self, if you're going to use double hung, and I would imagine probably single hung windows as well, um, you're going to have that issue. So basically what we're going to be doing is adding an inch here and an inch here. Just one by four, basically, um, on both sides to shrink the space in a little bit, and that will kind of help make up for that problem. Um, otherwise, it's a great window, and it's fine, and we're not gonna have any issues with it, and I'm not worried about it at all. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not. We put, I'm sorry for the lighting again. Ooh, that's not gonna work. Anyway, those lovely little gray bars, those are actually sandwiched in between the glass. A lot of them are on the outside, a lot of them are on the inside. I've seen them both, I've seen them where they pop out. I chose to put them between the glass because frankly, I don't want to ever have to mess with them. I want to be able to have a nice solid sheet of glass to clean. I don't want to have to repaint them. I'm perfectly fine with them staying silver for life. Doesn't matter to me. These are tempered glass. Um, don't think we got the laminated tempered. No, just regular tempered glass. Um, just the standard issue Lowy. We did very few upgrades. This is the Arctic silver. It's a, co it's a color that Tumbleweed offers. It's a co standard color in this particular window. Note that if you get the W2500 series of gelled ones, that is not a standard color. That's actually why we went with the Tradition Plus because we wanted the gray. Um, anyhow, it comes with these neat little cladding doodads. I don't know if I can get it off of here. Anyway, it says remove after installation. The whole point is to protect the framing as you're installing it. So. You can see the little bottom sash is open a little bit. We chose the double hungs because if you open the bottom sash on one side of the house and you open the top sash from the top down on the other side of the house, you get a great cross breeze and it'll reduce the likelihood that we need to use AC, which we're trying really hard to lower our power limits and kind of pick and choose. I'm still convinced we don't need as big of a refrigerator as Brandy insisted we get it, but you know what, I'm picking my battles. So um, I want to turn around. This is another one of the double hung windows. This is the inside here. Um, I, again, I did not get any upgrades on this. This is the natural pine. It's this Aura Last super fancy schmancy whatever pine that they use. Um, but as I'm fairly certain it was, uh, I believe it was Rachel at Tiny House Big Adventures, if I'm not mistaken, up in Alaska, had a problem. Similar kind of wood, not treated, not stained or anything on the inside. She had a problem with hers getting wet and swelling to the point that they wouldn't close over the winter. So we are going to try to seal them up. She's working on hers right now. We're going to try to seal them up um, before we even put them in and then probably put another coat on once they are installed. Hopefully that will at least reduce, if not eliminate that issue. Um, having never installed windows before and really not knowing all the technical expertise that comes along with them, it's going to be a little bit of a crapshoot to make sure that we do it properly. But um, I think we'll be okay if we just, you know, follow manufacturer instructions, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Um, shouldn't be too much of trouble, but you can see it's got the nice nailing flange, this little dude right here. You do need to specify that when you order your windows. Um, <coughs> the actually the millwork gal that was helping me at Lowe's, 
um, here by the house had been away from millwork for a while so she was kind of having to wing this a little bit so we we're hoping we got everything that we need correctly it's part of the reason why we only went with three uh, we weren't really sure plus we only wanted to do a little bit but anyway long story short we're gonna have to get the rest of them sooner rather than later so that's fine but uh, that's what these windows look like when they come from the factory. They've still got little, I mean, obviously this little brace doodad is not permanent. Um, just extra bracing on it. And I think there's even more stuff that comes off of this, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, I think this whole thing right here may even come off. But uh, you see it's got its little hardware and yada, yada, yada. There's more stuff to it. There's a little, I don't know where the little latches are for it, but there's fancy little latches for that too. And um, here's the screens. Oh, there they are. There are the little handles, little baggy full of handles. We got the mm, chestnut bronze, I think, because it pretty much looked like oil rubbed bronze. So I figured that's close enough to that. Um, and then the screens, I don't know if you can tell, but this one has got a black frame and the other two have a silver frame. So incidentally, um, that awning window didn't have the option for the silver um, window screen. It only had the option for the, I think it's chestnut bronze as a matter of fact. So that's fine because our downstairs windows are all going to be double hung with like the exception of this one big one up here. But the upstairs windows, the ones up in the loft, they're all going to be awning. So they're all going to match. So it's fine that those are going to have black frames and the rest of them are going to be different. So fine, whatever. Downstairs, upstairs. It's very Downton Abbey. But um, anyhow, I can't show you this one, unfortunately. But this big guy right here, this is an awning window. Um, you can't tell any difference of it from the side. I apologize for that. But it is a... Um, I'm sure very, very similar to the awning windows that Tumbleweed uses. I think you might be able to see on this sticker a little bit. There we go. Right there in that bottom right hand corner. Uh, that's just a different style grill. That's the prairie style grill, also wedged in between the glass. Um, so kind of decided that the long, low windows looked a little better with that, that particular division of light versus what we put on these downstairs ones here. So anyhow can't wait to get it all together it's got a lot of work to do so anyhow um we'll get some more reflection but bye, bye i'm still in my work clothes i'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed the joys of working night shift have a great day thanks bye